everyone in this video i will talk about quizzes and how do i use it during my classes i'm working with young students and they cannot just you know enter a code or they cannot just log in quizzes by themselves so i find another way to use it and before i talk about it, i want to tell you that and this like i start my lessons with google slides so once i start my lesson i do not say share my screen i share the whole tab with my students the google tab with my students if you do that you can go back and forth between the quizzes and your your your, your powerpoint and without like resharing it so they will see it whenever just you know you change the tab and the second thing is that once you sign in quizzes this is the page you will see and you can create a quiz from here or you can search a quiz from the library and you can work on it once you're done with done with your quiz you will find your quiz in your library so these are the ones i prepared before and i just pick one here the letters we do it a lot uh, so in, once i open it i do not assign it as a homework or i do not start a live quiz i pick here the preview button before I click there, I tell my students, like, go and grab your, your board and markers or your pencil or, or paper, that's fine too. And once they are ready, I click there. So it will open. It's a re-attempt because we did this game before. Okay, here it starts. Okay, so there's a like, uh, music on or off button, that's up to you. If you want to give the instructions, it's better to make it off so your, your students can hear you. So once it's open, I tell my students, so what do you see in the picture? It's a drum, so the, 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 which letter makes that sound? So they write on their board and then raise up so I can check my students' answers, if they did it correct or not. This is the one way you can do you can do with them. You can you can also like do like CVC words with them so they can practice writing. They can practice like you know the sounding the letters. So they just pick the right answer and then we just go to another question. You can either do the whole uh, quiz at once or you can just pause it in here so you can come back to this. You can go to your PowerPoint presentation and you can just go back to uh, quizzes again. You know it's up to you. You can continue or you can just stop. Sometimes we do stories, so I prepare quizzes for stories. And this is the one we read before. Let's see here. So let's say that I just start reading my story, like five pages I read, and just if I want to check my students' understanding, I can just start quizzes game after my presentation. I can come to my quizzes game. I can ask my students just only few questions just to check if they understood, like how many pages we read here. Sorry, you can continue. So like I asked the question, sorry, I asked a question to my students and asked them to write it down. Like which one is the correct answer, number one or number two? As you see here, there are numbers, number one and number two, but they're very small. Like especially for young kids, it's hard to see these numbers. So there's another way you can do it. Um, like uh, you can just open a Google slide and pick a picture from this, like the insert button, you can pick a picture and from text box, you can write a number next to it. So once you did it, you can just cut it from the snipping tool, new here, and then you can save it as a picture and then you can just upload on your quizzes. Here, I'll show you that one too, uh, my library. And this one I prepared for my students is like assessment. We were doing the rhyming words with them as you see here so i just put numbers ne next to each picture so that way they can see like numbers are big so when i ask them which one is the correct answer write it down and they can just write down that number on their board whatever you know answered option they picked so for each one i just write down the number for them so this is how i'm using quizzes because like you know, like if you ask a question to your child or students, it's only pick one student. It is just, you know, the other students, they just like, they lose their, their interest. They don't listen to you. 
And this way, I just try to grab all of my students' attention at once and quickly check their understanding and then just move on to my lesson. And so I'm using it. Uh, like if you guys have any other methods that you're using in your classes, please share it with me. Write it down in comments box. And I hope this helped to you. Thank you so much um, for watching it.